We're here today because we have reached a tipping point where humanitarian action is understood to have far-reaching implications for people, our society and our economy. The private sector is as vulnerable as everyone else to natural disasters or the impact of conflict. Local business operations, whether of small or medium enterprise or multinationals, are among the first to be hit by emergencies. Their infrastructure, supply chains, workforce and markets can be severely affected. Disasters are getting more complex and go beyond the geographical boundaries of the primary affected country. Secondly, the impact of disasters on businesses, both large and small, can be devastating. Look closer to the region, the Ebola outbreak has imposed tremendous challenges to trade and markets, led to increased costs of food and essential items, has the potential to impact travel and tourism in this continent. The bottom line is disasters and crises are now everybody's business. The good news is that there are many ways the private sector can bring value to disaster preparedness and humanitarian action. In addition to contributing financially, businesses can bring expertise in strategic planning, technology, innovation, good management processes, and other resources to the humanitarian arena. Your businesses are set up to have a more forward-looking strategy, cutting-edge and efficient processes. You have a better understanding of populations through your market surveys, and your supply chain and logistics capacities are more advanced in the business sector. Forward-looking financial risk management is the core of how you do business. But now, you need to expand that to include disaster risks. But your contributions are not only important after a disaster has struck. There is a role to play in contributing to disaster preparedness. In fact, the largest scale impact is achieved through core business activities that incorporate emergency preparedness and response into their considerations.